Hello, my name is Jenny. I am 33 years old and I have non-smoking lung cancer, stage 3A. Um, I am doing this video to talk about a lung biopsy for anyone interested. Um, I had no idea what I was going into when I got mine and I thought this might be helpful. So, um, unlike other biopsies, they put you under to where you're asleep and they get the biopsy, you don't have to feel it or anything like that. But with the lung biopsy, you have to stay awake because they need your help in keeping your lung at a certain spot when they go in for the biopsy. So the, biop or the biopsy is guided through a CT scan. So what they did was they had me lay on my stomach and they went in through up right up here and they had to go in with a hollow needle all the way through to my lung and get the mass which is in my upper lung le uh, upper left lung and so the doctor would put the needle in and then they'd put me in for the scan and they'd go check it on the screen and make sure they were heading in the right direction then he'd push it a little deeper do a scan make sure it's going in the right direction push it in deeper do the scan make sure it's in the right direction and I would hold my breath every time nothing dramatic no like <gasps> deep breath sorry that hurt <laughs> just you know regular holding your breath so every time they would push it deeper I'd have to hold my breath or every time for the picture I would have to hold my breath so then by the time it was right at my lung the doctor said okay I need you to stay really still for this it's gonna hurt and um, it was like one, two, three, I held my breath and he went in my lung and it felt so painful. Um, nothing you can't handle, like I'm, I'm so sensitive with pain and I could handle it, but my whole body like stiffened. I stayed very still, like my torso, but my hands and feet all stiffened. And he said I did great. And then he said, um, hang on, I'm going to go in and get one more sample. So then he went in again and had me hold my breath. And that hurt too. And then um, he took out the hollow needle. Um, the removal part was painful. I didn't realize that would be painful. They give you some pain medication for this procedure but nothing to like make you sedated or drowsy or anything. So you feel a lot, even though I'm sure I felt much less pain with the medication. Um, and I had to fast before the biopsy. And then after the biopsy, I had to wait in a room for I think two hours, two to three hours to make sure my lung didn't um, leak air or pop um what's it called a uh, when your lung deflates collapsed lung to make sure i didn't have a collapsed lung and so they checked me and i was fine and i was able to go home they told me not to lift anything over 10 pounds for the next week but then the paperwork said should be back to normal in one to two days should be able to go to normal life activities that is dead wrong I don't know why the paperwork says that. It was clearly written by someone who has not had a lung biopsy. Um, it took me a while to feel back to myself. The shortness of breath got even worse. I could only sleep sitting up. This is um, a recliner for my parents. I have to sleep in a recliner every night ever since my biopsy. If I lay flat on my side, I feel the path where the needle went and then it adds shooting pain up my neck. So I sleep in a recliner every night since the biopsy. Um, and then two weeks after the biopsy, I tried to lift a sandbag to put in my kid's sandbox and I was wrecked physically for the next week. So, and that was two weeks after the biopsy. So you have to take it, take it easy for a while after. Um, there, when you get a lung biopsy, there isn't a chance of your lung um, collapsing the doctor said to me it's like having a balloon and putting a needle in it it could pop and that was alarming but 
he said they just open your chest and let the extra air out and then they help you with breathing but luckily I didn't have um, that happen overall it was not too bad um, worst part was having to be awake and helping them get the tissue and I was very scared that I wouldn't be successful in helping them get the tissue because um, I doubt myself and luckily they got the tissue because we know that I now have cancer so um, yeah and two days later I got my results which was awesome um, two days later is when I got my diagnosis so yeah tomorrow I am getting an e-bus which is a biopsy on the lymph nodes in the center of my chest and I will be put under for that so I'm excited that I won't have to be awake feeling it and helping um, I can uh, just sleep and I will do a video about that for anyone who's interested um, if you're having a lung biopsy coming up I wish you luck um, I hope it goes smoothly you can do it it's not too bad I promise it's just when the needle goes in your lung it's a shock and then after that you're just really sore and um, a lot of shortness of breath and you have to sleep in a recliner or s sleep upright maybe you won't have to maybe it's just me but <laughs> all right thanks guys bye